Well, the design schedule of this car went through a very, let's say, classical schedule for a race car. We started with aero development because here really the longer you, you test, the best it is for performance. Then the rest has been driven by production lead time. So then we had to start by the gearbox. Uh, means immediately rear suspension, then monocoque, then front suspension, then final integration details. Nowadays, in I would say modern Le Mans racing, uh, performance is a dominant factor. Unlike in the past where only reliability, or almost only reliability, uh, was important, now we have to, to perform very well from the start of the race till the end. And in terms of aerodynamic performance, a closed car is a no-brainer and a good aero-efficient car has to be closed. And since uh, now two years, uh, to have a closed car is not anymore uh, a handicap in pit stops, so then the final decision uh, was a kind of no-brainer. It had to be a closed car. Honestly, no, because uh, except maybe the spirit and the passion which was already behind these two, uh, these two attacks, time have changed, I would say processes, uh, possibilities have changed, so we had to, uh, to do it with the tools we have available now. The car is going to, uh, to enter the WEC Championship, so it has to be, I would say, a polyvalent car. But for sure, the main, the main focus, uh, the main driver for the concept of the car has been Le Mans. Performance before and then we make a performance car reliable. I've been using from our F1 experience are all the processes. Most of the processes used in F1 are still applicable with some tuning, of course, but for example, the aerodynamic development went along the same routes, the same processes. Chassis design as well, we have been using extensively our previous experience, uh, which is really just generic good race car design, uh, including all the validation on test rigs and so on. So we have been working along the lines, along the processes we had defined at F1 time, including the operation of the car. Uh, everything went through similar processes. The main thing which changes basically uh, between F1 and Le Mans is the mileage target. 